Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and today I'm going to teach you how to build a custom stream overlay for something like Twitch or YouTube Gaming or Facebook Live, whatever the case may be. So a little bit of a backstory here, my son got into Twitch streaming and decided he wanted a nice fun overlay to kind of make his channel look a little more unique. And I looked into maybe purchasing some of these things, but uh, I realized that I could probably make my own rather than having to purchase it. So let me show you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make one for you, and uh, we'll do it all live, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go with like a, a classic retro game inspired, uh, you know, handheld classic console inspired overlay. We'll kind of put everything together, show you what I'm thinking and how I would put it together. So first thing we got is we've got a background. I've made it kind of this off-white gray type of color here. And uh, I'm using GIMP, which is a, f a free software. It's awesome photo editing software, image manipulation <laughs> software. Um, just absolutely great program. Really easy to use. I'm not going to go into too much of how I'm doing a lot of this stuff. Um, more of what I'm doing just to kind of make this video a little shorter. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a second layer. We're going to call it screen. All right, and we're going to work on that layer. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make the face of our, uh, of our template here. So to do that, I'm going to select my ellipse here. I'm going to go anti-aliasing. And then I'm going to go ahead and zoom into my corner. And I'm going to go from there to my border. I preset my borders at 75 pixels in each way. All right, next I'm going to take my pencil tool. My pencil tool is pretty much all the way maxed out, so it's it's really, really huge. So I'm just going to cover in what I've got there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this bottom corner here. I'm going to create an ellipse. Maybe. And then color it in. And then... I'm going to go ahead and go to this top corner, create an ellipse here, color it in. And then on this bottom corner, I want this to be a little bit bigger. So I want it rounded here, rounded here, rounded here. And if you remember on the screen we're talking about, it has a much bigger rounded section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my ellipse, hold down shift, and then bring it out to here. I'm going to place that in the corner. That's still not quite big enough here. Make sure we're all the way in the corner. One pixel at a time. So and I kind of want this line to come up to about here or so. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this, hit shift again. I'm going to bring it out and See how I want all this to be gray? So I'm going to take that. That looks like about the shape that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and pencil that in. Just like that. Pencil it all in. Select none. All right. Now we're just going to go through and we're going to color the rest of this in. So we should be able to just do that. And then we just have to take our pencil. Let's maybe not use such a large brush. Maybe just a little bit smaller brush. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. All right, go down to this bottom corner here. I'm going to go ahead and, oops, maybe down a little less. Go in there, color all that in. Color in all the way to there. Okay, that looks good. Right here, we're going to go ahead and color all these in. Do the rest of them kind of fast. Okay, that looks good. Now that we have those kind of like that, we can just take our thing and just color this big circle in here. All right, beautiful. And the last one up here. Go ahead and zoom in. Go all the way up. And then here, take that out. So there's kind of what our screen is going to look like. So the next thing on that screen were a couple uh, lines at the top here. So we're going to collect our select tool here. Go from here. 
And we'll say we'll make about 15 in height. That's 14. Uh, come on. There you go. 15. And we'll drag them all the way over to the other side. And that first one was a red, like a nice dark red. Okay. Let's go ahead and get my pencil tool. Run that size all the way up so it just covers everything. Go back, select my lips. So, go ahead and go down. That's about even. So, we're going to go down to about there. Maybe a little less. Right there. And we're going to color that in blue. All right. Again with a pencil. Boom. Blue. Select none. Okay. Next thing we need is the light over here. There's a little light and it says battery. So, let's go ahead and create that. This is about the middle of our screen. It was just a little bit above middle. Again, we're going to hold shift for a perfect circle here. Make it about 70-ish. Yeah, 70-ish. How about 70 exact? And I'm going to pull it a little bit off of this line here. And down just a little bit. I'm going to have it up a little higher than maybe it would be. Right there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. We're going to call this light. Now we're still selected this ellipse. We're going to go with red and then kind of a pinkish, pinkish red right here. We're going to go to our gradient select tool. We're going to be shaped spherical. The custom gradient is just foreground to background. We're going to go ahead and select it. Maybe darken this up just a little bit. Now we can see what we're looking at. And that looks good. All right. So now we've got our light right there. Now we've got some text we can add. We're not going to add any text right now, though. We're going to go ahead and save that text until later. What we need to do now, though, is we need to decide where we want everything on the screen to be, i.e., where do we want the screen? Do you want a camera? Do you want a box for chat? Um, so I think I do want a box for chat. So we're going to go ahead and make another one. We'll call it Zones. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where I want my chat box to be. So I want it to say chat right under this light. So maybe right here we'll have my chat box be all the way to the to the end here you know about that big maybe a little bit bigger and let's actually center it underneath the uh, underneath that let's bring it all the way down Oops. all right that looks Good. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. All right, I like that. So we're going to go ahead and zone that in. All right, figure out where our camera is. Now we need to figure out how big our screen is going to be. Now this is really, really important. We're going to go ahead and do a new um, image. That image size needs to be the output resolution of whatever you're streaming. For example, if you're streaming a console and it streams at 1920 by 1080, even if you're only streaming at 720p, you want it to be 1920 by 1080, or if it streams at 4K, whatever your capture card is picking up, that's what you want it to be. My card uh, picks up at 1920 by 1080, so that's okay. So now we have a big red, you know, basically a blank screen. We need to figure out where it's going to fit on here. So we need to kind of draw a box. I want it right up next to the chat. And I want it to be as wide as I can get it without going over the corner here. So I don't think I'm going to get it much wider than that. And that is 1463. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to this image. We're going to scale this image make the width 1450 just to make sure we don't do it by 816 go ahead and scale it select all copy it we're still on zones paste it and that looks about where I want it I want it down just a little bit 
and I want it butted right up against that chat box. All right, that's where my screen is going to go for this. So we'll go ahead and anchor that down as well. So now we've got where the chat box is going to be. We've got where the screen is going to be. You can add a camera. You can add uh, some other stuff here, but this is what we need for now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the zones, right? And we're going to export this. Export this as a PNG file. I'm going to put it in my demo folder here. We're just going to call it demo backdrop. All right. Defaults are fine. Now we're going to turn the zones back on. We're going to export as demo backdrop zones. This will be very important for lining stuff up here in a minute. All right. That, did I do that? Nope, that's right. All right, now we're going to go ahead and switch over to OBS here. We've got a brand new scene in OBS. I've got my game capture here, which isn't capturing anything. I don't have any games running, but we'll, uh, we'll start one up and show you. So the first thing we want to do is add an image. So let me get this down. Add an image. We'll call this Zones. And we'll go ahead and go to our Documents, Demo. These are our zones. Now, since this is the size that we're streaming and our um, platform, it should fit perfectly on here. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now we have the ability to go ahead and set up where everything's going to be. So let me go ahead and let me start a game. Give me one second here. OK, maybe give me 10 seconds here. There we go. All right, and let's go ahead and view that game capture. Okay, so there's that game capture right there. So what we can do is grab it, and we can line it up with these zones that we've created. They should line up pretty well. Apparently I'm streaming at a different resolution than I realized, and that's okay. So let me bring it up just a little bit. Let's make sure we're butted up right up against that chat, which is what I wanted. Looks like we are a couple clicks over. Yep, right there. So that's where I want that to be. That chat is going to go ahead and be good, and I'm going to go ahead and put it all the way down. So to do that, we're going to go here. Select this. Put it all the way over. And go ahead and fill that in. Export to zones. All right. Now what we want to know is this square right here, how big is it? So if you click right here, it tells you it is 299 by 515. We're going to create a new browser. We call this chat. It's 299 by 515. You'd put your, your chat URL from Streamlabs or Muxy or whatever you're using, but that allows you to create it just like that. Then you can kind of put it up there. Now it fits perfectly. Now you're probably saying, but but Aaron, I see red around the thing, and you know I can see where the zones are at, and it kind of looks horrible. Well, that's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to not show those zones, and we're going to go ahead and import another image. It is our background. All right, click OK. We'll go ahead and put that to the bottom. And now you can see that there's no red around anything. You've got a perfect set of where your chat's going to be and where this is at. The last thing we're going to do is add some labels here. So let's go ahead and add text. We'll call this top text. So a very similar font to what was used on the original Game Boy is Gil Sam's MT. And we're going to set a static 72 
up here. We're going to text transform all uppercase because it was all uppercase. And it said dot matrix with stereo sound. And it said it somewhere right around here. But the problem is it blacked all this out. So let's go back here. Let's go back to our screen. Let's grab that color and take a look at it. We're going to copy this number, this color. All right. Now let's go back to our top text. Background color. Select a color. We'll just paste in what we got there. Click OK. And then change the opacity to 100%. It still doesn't look right, but what you can do is you can add a space on either side or even a couple spaces to give you a little bit more space with no words. And that looks more like what the old Game Boy said. And the only other thing that it said, had on it, was battery text. And same thing. Kill Sans MT, 72, we'll go ahead and all uppercase, and it just said battery. So I could have done this in the, I could have done this in GIMP and left these static, but the reason I decided to do it like this is because now instead of battery text, you can say chat and just zoom that over here and instead of dot matrix with stereo sound you can you know about my stream information you can add literally whatever you want here and customize this all within OBS keeping this same general idea going so there you have it. That's kind of how to make a sort of customized um, backdrop or stream overlay. And that's what I've been doing. So if you have any questions about that, please uh, drop us a question in the chat. I'm really, really good about answering those. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and you all have a great day.